How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is why some vegan YouTubers go back to eating a heavy meat diet. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. All right, out here on a walk again, I got my, in my new spot and figured I'd put together a video. I'm also gonna be showing you what I ate in a day. So uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about some of the vegan YouTubers out there and I noticed, I follow a lot of people on YouTube, uh, several different people, and there's been a couple of them that were real strict vegan and then they, now they're back to eating meat and they're like anti-vegan, they just eat tons of meat. Um, just wanted to give my thoughts on that. And to me it seems like these people, they are, w with their diet before they're too strict, they're too strict too much of the time, they're doing too much cleansing, they're always doing too much detoxifying, they're doing too many long-term water fast or too much dry fasting. They're just too strict with things for too long. Now, if there's a serious health condition, by all means, you gotta go, you gotta go strict. You gotta incorporate these things until you're better and then you can balance out. But um, some of these people I'm talking about, I'm not gonna mention names, but um, they didn't really seem to have any health problems at, at, this, at a certain point and they're just still being too strict all the time, you know, just malnour getting malnourished basically. And then what it seemed like would happen is they'd go back and start eating meat again and they'd feel better, but I think really what was happening is they're just being too strict with their diet and they were just not getting everything they needed. So that's just my opinion on the matter. Um, I don't know, who knows, but <laughs> that's just what it seemed like to me, you know? If there's a serious health problem, you gotta, you gotta get strict with things, you gotta get cleaned out, but then at a certain point you need to balance out and make sure, you're, you, you know, you gotta make sure you're getting everything you need. So here's what I recently ate in a day, of course, intermittent fasting like always. Um, this was about uh, maybe a six or so, let's see, about a seven hour window, and here's what I had. So it's about 11 a.m. and I started out with a bowl of some organic red grapes and an apple. Started off simple, I was gonna do a workout at noon, so I wanted to have a little something before the workout at 11 a.m. And then at about 1.45, I put together one of my favorite oatmeals. So I got two servings of oatmeal and I added some an apple, uh, two sliced up bananas, a couple tablespoons of almond butter, and then I also added some chocolate chia seed pudding, which was just like chia seeds soaked in um, some almond milk with some cocoa powder. And I, and I mixed that in. This is a really good combination if you're looking for some oatmeal. Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite oatmeal right now. So I had a big bowl of that. Very satisfying. That was at 145. And then at 4 o'clock, I made a big salad. I had some greens, some avocado, an apple, and some cucumber. So simple salad, just about four ingredients. That was at four o'clock, and at six o'clock I had this cabbage white bean soup, I had two big bowls of that, and some toasted whole grain bread. So that is how I wrapped it up at six o'clock, and then I also had an apple afterwards as well. So thanks for watching everyone, give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll be back soon with more videos. Bye-bye.